Example 1.3 Coulomb's law of electrostatic force between two point charges and Newton's law for gravitational force between two stationary point masses both have inverse square dependency on the distance between the charges and masses respectively. That is, we know that the electrostatic force is the equation for the electrostatic force is given by k q1 q2 by r square here you can see that the force is proportional to 1 upon r square that is called inverse square relationship similarly the gravitational force can also be given by this equation g m e m p by r square here also the gravitational force is proportional to 1 upon r square now what is asked compare the strength of these forces by determining the ratio of their magnitudes that is for a given system we have to compare the electrostatic and the gravitational force so for the first system we have here an electron and a proton so for the first system let us assume we have one electron and one proton separated by distance r then from coulomb's law we can write fe is equals to k q1 q2 by r square so here it is k charge of electron is e charge of proton is also e so it is e into e e square and distance is r square similarly the gravitational force between two proton is uh, sorry proton and electron is given by equation g m e m p by r square so as uh, distance is same if we take ratio then r square r square will get cancelled so our answer is k e square by g m e m p now for your kind information this question was asked in j e e 2024 right so this question this kind of questions are very easy okay the same question with the same answer was asked in j e now what we will do we will put values of uh, different uh, parameters which are given here the different constants which are given here so the value of k coulomb's constant 9 into 10 raised to 9 the uh, value of electronic charge that is e square so 1.6 10 raised to minus 19 1.6 10 raised to minus 19 value of universal gravitational constant mass of electron and the mass of proton okay so how see solution i have done here first i have put all the numbers and then i have put all the powers similarly here 6.673 and 9 1.11 and 1.67 so all the numbers and powers right i have transferred to upside powers which are negative in the denominator will go up and become positive right on solving this i am getting fe by fg is equals to 0 0.226 into 10 raised to 40 so i can i can bring one zero here so this will become 2.26 into 10 raised to 39 so this if uh, on rounding off i am removing this six right so here become 2.3 into 10 raised to 39 now in the b part what is asked we have to compare the strength for two protons so in the second part of this question right we have two proton so two protons separated by distance are again same procedure is there so the electrostatic force as both carry same charge so ke square by r square here instead of mass of electron we have to write mass of proton other things are same okay so here i am taking again ratio of these two equations so r square r square get cancelled again putting data uh, of all the constant the values of all the constant on solving this we are getting 1.3 into 10 raised to 36 that is the uh, from this two observation what we can say the electrostatic force is nearly is nearly 10 raised to 36 times the gravitational force between two protons and the electrostatic force between electron and a proton is 10 raised to 39 times than the gravitational force that is the electrostatic force is nearly 10 raised to 36 to 10 raised to 38 times stronger than the gravitational force also one thing is given here from the textbook However, it may be mentioned here that the signs of two forces are different. See, whenever the sign is negative, the force is attractive. And whenever the sign is positive, the force is repulsive. Right. So, gravitational force is always attractive. So, the sign here will be negative. Okay. Here for two proton, it is repulsive. So, the sign we use here will be positive. Then it is asked that for two proton, the gravitational force is attractive in nature and the Coulombian force is repulsive. The actual values of these forces between two protons inside a nucleus inside a nucleus r f e is equal to 230 newton where his gravitational force is 1.9 into 10 raised to minus 34 newton see remember these values for mcqs the ratio of two forces shows that the electrical forces are enormously stronger than the gravitational force okay now what about the b part of the question in the b part of the question estimate the acceleration of the electron and proton due to the electric force of their mutual attraction right 
that is let us assume i place a one electron here and one proton here now what will happen this two charges they attract each other means the electron will get pulled towards right side whereas the proton will get pulled towards left side and they will accelerate right so now let us assume i have a very heavy box right and another a very lighter box i am applying same forces to both of them same equal force then we know that f is equals to m a then a is equals to f by m if forces are same then acceleration is inversely proportional to mass that is the object having larger mass will accelerate uh, by a very small amount and the ma the object having sm large uh, smaller mass will accelerate by a large value right so we know that from newton second law f is equals to m a so a is equals to f by m now this two electrons uh, this electron and proton they are getting accelerated towards each other by a electrostatic force now in the question some data is given see what data is given estimate the acceleration of electron and a proton due to the electrical force of their mutual attraction when they are one angstrom right means the separation between them is given their masses are also given right so in this equation uh, fe is equals to ke square by r square so value of k their charges and the separation one angstrom is given so on putting all this value we are getting a force of 2.3 into 10 raised to minus 8 newton that is electron and a proton will exert this much force on each other and what will happen they will accelerate so how much acceleration is produced in electron so f is equals to ma so a is equals to f by m so here force is 2.3 into 10 raised to minus 8 and the mass of electron is 9.11 into 10 raised to minus 31 so the electron will accelerate 2.5 into 10 raised to 22 meter per second square whereas the proton will accelerate with a magnitude 1.37 into 10 raised to minus 10 raised to plus 19 meter per second square okay what i have done i have just put the value so a is equals to f by m they exert uh, uh, electrostatic force of equal magnitude and opposite direction so the magnitude of force is equal but their masses are different okay so here the acceleration of electron is more so in electrostatic force or in other forces the acceleration of the particle having smaller mass is more and acceleration of the particle having larger mass mass is smaller whereas if we allow two object one is of mass m and one is of mass capital m towards the earth then the acceleration due to gravity will be same on both the object that is the acceleration due to gravity that is the g is equals to 9.8 meter per second square does not depend on the mass of the falling body whereas in electrostatic force it depends okay